Find the values of k for which the equation x squared plus 3kx plus 1 fourth into 45k plus 27 is equal to 0 has equal roots. Alright, let's see how do we go about solving this equation. With this problem, we are talking about the nature of roots. Let's start off with this term, roots. Okay, so in maths, the word root is equivalent to talking about the x-intercepts of a quadratic or a parabola. And sometimes you see people talking about the solutions. Okay, maybe it's better to think about it as the x-intercepts. Okay, so what's happening over here is that we have sort of like a general form of a quadratic, right? And what the question is asking us is which k value, right, do we substitute into this general form such that when we do that, the resulting quadratic will only have equal roots, right? And by equal roots, this is the same thing as saying that we only have one root. Or you can think about it as having one x-intercept. Okay, so what's different between this quadratic and the normal quadratics that we see, like um, x squared plus 2x plus 1, right? The difference between these two is that in this quadratic, your a, b, and c values are just normal constant terms, right? Whereas over here, you can see that the difference is your b and your c are given by some sort of a formula. Okay, so you can see that a is equals to 1, right? But b is equals to 3k, and lastly, c is equals to this whole expression of 1 over 4 into 45k plus 25, sorry, plus 27. Okay, so this whole expression over here. Right, so if you think about the fact that if this left hand side, okay, was a function, right, so, okay, so a function y is equals to x squared plus 3kx plus 1 over 4 into 45k plus 27, right, when we let y equal 0, right, then we are finding the x-intercepts of our equation right or our function okay so <clears throat> now what we're going to do is that we know that in order to find the x-intercepts you would go through some process of factorization and one of the tools that we have for factorization is called the quadratic formula where x is going to be equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a. Okay, and the important thing from this um, formula is that this expression underneath here that I'm highlighting in blue, right, that expression is something called the discriminant, right, and the discriminant is what actually tells us what type of x-intercepts we're going to have. Are we going to have two x-intercepts, one x-intercept, or no x-intercepts at all? Okay, so this part, b squared minus 4ac, this is referred to as the discriminant. Okay, and we give this the symbol delta. Okay, so a small little triangle like that. All right, so there's three different situations that you're going to come across. Right, so I've now sketched the three different situations that you're going to come across. Right? In the first situation, you see that we have two x-intercepts. Right? In the second situation, we only have one x-intercept. Right? And when you go through the calculations of finding the x-intercepts, what you would actually find is that you would have two of the same values. Right? So that's where the equals comes from. 
right? So because those two values are equal, we say that it's only one root. It's the same thing. One root equal roots. Those two things mean the, exactly the same thing. Or you can have the last situation where you have no x-intercepts at all. Okay, so now all these three different situations are described by a certain value of the discriminant. Right? In case one, we have that the discriminant will be positive, right? In other words, the discriminant will be greater than zero, right? And when that happens, it will always happen when you have two distinct, and the word distinct means different, right? Distinct real roots. Okay. All right. And you can then substitute the root with x-intercept. So graphically, this means that you're going to have two distinct x-intercepts. Right? The second situation is where your discriminant is equal to zero. Right? So when your discriminant is equal to zero, then we say that you're going to have equal roots, or that's the same thing as saying that you're going to have one real root. Okay? And graphically, like you can see above, this means that you're only going to have one x-intercept. Okay, so the parabola becomes tangential to the x-axis, right? Then the last situation is where your discriminant is less than zero, right? In other words, negative, okay? Over here, we say that you have no real roots, okay? And graphically, that translates to saying that you have no x-intercepts. Right, so that's the theory that you need to know, and basically with these type of questions where you have some sort of a K inside of your quadratic to solve for, you are going to have to use this information about the discriminant. So I'm just going to move it to the side. Going back to the question, right, in order to answer the question, you would then first start by identifying your A, B, and C value, right? And that comes from the general form of the quadratic that we know as AX squared plus BX plus C. Okay. And from above, we see that A is equals to 1, B is equals to 3K, and C is equals to 1 over 4 into 45K plus 27. Okay. Then once you've identified your A, B, and C value, you then um, substitute it into the condition of the discriminant that meets the question. Right? So for our question, we want to have equal roots. Right? So in other words, we want the resulting uh, quadratic that we're going to get to only have one x-intercept. Right? So we can start off by saying 4 equal roots. Right? The discriminant must be equal to zero, or the discriminant will be equal to zero. Okay. Then you then set up an equation. The discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4 times a times c. Substitute all these values in. Discriminant equal to zero. b equal to 3k. And we need to square that. Minus 4 times a is equals to 1 times, let's actually make square bracket, right, times C, which is 1 over 4 into 45K plus 27. Right, so now we are ready to simplify even further. Okay, so we'll have 0 is equals to 9. Uh, 9k squared, right, minus 4 times 1 is 4. We'll keep these square brackets for now. Multiply this 1 over 4 into this smaller bracket. 
that will give us 45 over 4 times k plus 27 over 4. Close our brackets. All right, then now we can continue to uh, distribute this negative 4 into the bracket. So we'll have 0 is equal to 9k squared minus, when we do that, the 4s will cancel out. So we'll have 45k minus 27. Okay, then we can pull out a common factor of 9. When we do that, we'll have k squared minus 5, uh, k minus 3 left over inside of our brackets. Dividing both sides by 9 will give us uh, 0 is equal to k squared minus 5k minus 3. Okay. We can see that we can't factorize this specific quadratic because there's no two factors of minus 3 that we can add together to give us minus 5. So we're going to have to go into the quadratic formula. So going into the quadratic formula, we can solve that k is equals to minus b, which is minus 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 5 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 3, all divided by 2 times a. Okay, and we get our one solution as k is equal to 5 plus the square root of 37 divided by 2. And the other solution is going to be when we substitute this plus over there or minus. And we get 5 minus the root of 37 divided by 2. So we can write finally that k is 5 plus or minus the square root of 37 divided by 2. Okay, so what does this mean? It means that this k value, right, is the one that if you substitute it into this given equation over here, the original one, right, then the quadratic that you will get will only have one x-intercept.